Hey y'all, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, y'all. It's Monday, gratitude day, right? It's a new work week, y'all. New business week, new opportunities. Oh, y'all, my skin's getting better. So, y'all, I've been detoxing. Let me just tell y'all what's going on with me. So, I was going hard with these Celsius drinks, right? So, before I went and exercised, I was drinking these Celsius drinks. And in my mind, let me tell you how I justified these Celsius drinks, they energy drinks. But I justified them because I was like, oh, they got a lot of B12 in them. So, I need B12. I need B complex. So, I'm going to drink these energy drinks. Yeah, well, that caffeine started uh, kicking my butt, y'all. Um, I haven't had blood pressure issues for like two years. I started drinking them Celsius, and my blood pressure started shooting through the roof, y'all. So, um, yeah, I had to start detoxing off of those Celsius. And let me tell you, detoxing is detoxing. Um, so to avoid feeling like I had a detox flu, I've been fighting it with my essential oils, but even with fighting it with the essential oils, you know, when you go through a detox, you just, you feel like blah, right? So one thing I can say though, if you're trying to wean yourself off of caffeine is that, um, peppermint essential oil, if you drop a couple of drops of that in your water, and don't worry, you're not going to overdo it on the peppermint because one drop of peppermint is 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 pretty minty. Pretty minty. Um, one drop of peppermint, um, and it will start um, helping with the, the headaches that you get from caffeine withdrawals. And it will also help you with the sluggish feeling a little bit. So um, I had to power through a couple with that, y'all. Yeah, see, I got my ponytail in because I'm about to put in this work. About to put in this work. So, I just wanted to get on here, give you guys some positive vibes because it's Monday. So, look, for all my entrepreneurs, y'all, it's a new week, right? Write down your goals. Write down what you want to try to accomplish for this week. I'm telling y'all, that's helping me a lot, y'all, because even if I don't hit that goal, it gives me something to strive for, and I really be trying to get there with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you are in a, a business where you got to have some sales, you know what I'm saying? So put down how many sales you're going to try to reach a day. And that actually started from when I started selling cars, y'all. Um, when I started selling cars, that was one of the things that they would have us do every morning is we would put in a goal on how many cars we would try to sell for that day. And then you're focused on trying to get that number, right? So it actually um, really does help a lot in keeping your mind focused on where you wanna go and your business for that day. So I strongly suggest that you write down a plan every morning because I'm telling you guys, it really, 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 really helps, right? So, um, I also wanted to, uh, I see some couple of people on my timeline that has announced that they're going to go through divorces. I want to keep those people uplifted, y'all, because, you know, when you're in a relationship, that's one thing that's going to be attacked really, really hard from the enemy, right? Because where two or more are gathered in the most high's name, there he dwells. So if you guys are both believers in God, then your relationship is going to be under attack, y'all. So I just want to keep everybody that uh, is announcing they're going through a divorce uplifted. And trust me, I do understand that sometimes our fleshly desires gets us in situations we wasn't supposed to be in in the first place, too. I understand. Been there, done that. So if that was the case and you are going through a new awakening and that's why the divorce is taking place, then I want to say I'm still praying for you, right? Because it's still a spiritual attack in the mind, right? I, any kind of divorce 
it's going to have you questioning a lot of things, right? And it's going to have you questioning yourself one way or another. Just remember, follow your first instinct and stick with it, right? That is your connection to the spiritual side. Just remember that. Yeah. And congratulations to all the new graduates. And y'all kids look lovely in these prom dresses and suits and stuff. Y'all, it's a bittersweet moment for me because my oldest graduated in 2020. And y'all, for years, I was looking forward to picking at helping him pick out his formal um, suit. And that's probably the only time I was going to get to help him do that besides maybe his wedding, depending, I hope. That's not where he's thinking right now, please, Lord. But anyway, bittersweet moment because in 2020, y'all know everything was shut down. So I feel like we got cheated a little bit. But I still want to celebrate that y'all babies made it and they made that accomplishment. Woo, woo, hey. And they look good. And I want to say, y'all, there's this dude in my inbox and maybe it's just me, so I'm going to bring it to y'all so y'all can see how my mind works. But this dude posted pictures of his daughter that's graduating. And she posted some little kind of provocative, little, little racy pictures. You know what I'm saying? Not too far out there. She's 18, so I, I'm not faulting her for it. But then he reposted them. So in my mind... I'm like, out of all the pictures he could have posted in her account, why did he post these to um brag about his daughter? So it makes me feel like, mm, and he's in another state, so it really doesn't matter. But it makes me feel like, mm, I don't want to give him the time of day because I don't want him around my daughter. All the pictures he could have posted and they had to be like her little sexy hey look at me look at me pictures so um i don't know y'all there is a there is a warnings i want to say that sometimes people tend to overlook because again we trying to give in to our fleshly desires and sometimes we want the attention of that male and you kind of overlook things like that ladies don't overlook things like that um it just it just doesn't sit right with me and maybe it's me and maybe that's why i'm single because i'm too picky nevertheless i ain't gonna be able to do that y'all because mm -mm -mm. in my mind i don't want him around my daughter out of all the pictures you could have picked of your daughter, you gonna pick the ones where she's trying to be sexy in them to brag about her? Mm. Mm. Anyway, again, new work week. Y'all get y'all goals going for the week, right? So every if you have to do it every day, do it every day. If you have to do it every three days, if you can do the whole week, get them goals in, y'all, because I'm telling you, they make a difference. Y'all see my little pimples going down. My skin starting to look better. This detox and stuff is real. But I'm at the end. I think I got most of the caffeine out of my system because my headache. I had a headache. Did I tell y'all I was having headaches? Well, I was having headaches. But again, peppermint. If you drop one to two, you really ain't going to be able to do more than two drops of peppermint in your water. It will help with headaches especially if you're going through caffeine withdrawals and it does give you that burst of energy so you don't feel sluggish during your detoxing so um that lemon water that one of the detoxing things you can do is lemon peppermint um water I don't know. There's a there's a bunch of detoxing waters you can do, y'all. So I normally use the lemon and peppermint water um, because lemon is like a natural diuretic. So it's going to run a lot of water weight off of you. And then peppermint also helps cleanse and it gives you a burst of energy. FYI. And it helps with respiratory. So if you got like mucus and stuff, 
all in your chest. You start drinking peppermint, it'll start melting that mucus out of your chest. All right, so that was just some tips that I wanted to give y'all today. I told y'all I got my work ponytail in. Work, I'm gonna put in this work. Yes, I'm still in at it, y'all. I ain't giving up. I am working on me. I want you guys to work on you, mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. If one's sick, then you're not healed. All right? Love y'all. Have a blessed day. Bye.